Good afternoon, everyone. Polar Vortex is back. Bewick Swan from Russia, earliest migration ever recorded. Snows throughout Eastern Europe in Moldova, Romania, Bulgaria. 40 centimeters closing roads in Moldova. 15 centimeters of snow and 80 kilometer an hour winds in Romania. Poland, early blizzard. Snows in Scotland didn't even melt throughout the winter in the lowlands. Taking a look at the forecast for Europe's winter this year. Record cold across Kentucky. Shortest period on record since 1790 in Caribou, Maine. Between winter snows. The polar vortex is back that we saw so frequently last year. Record cold in Kentucky. Didn't hear about this on the news October 3rd. Early snows and below normal temperatures across the northeast United States. Already snowing in Vermont, Maine, and New Hampshire. Caribou, Maine. Shortest period on record between winter snows starting. And you realize those records do go back to 1790. And I'm sure by now you've already forgotten about the giant Boston snow pile that didn't melt until the middle of July. That place is not alone. Scottish Highlands still has not melted off October 1st. That snow still exists throughout the entire summer. Earliest arrival ever of the Russian Bewick Swan indicating a brutal winter is coming across Europe. The saying says, the swan brings snow on its bill. Moldova, Romania, Bulgaria. Moldova sandwiched between Romania and Ukraine. 40 centimeters of snow already. That's about 1.3 feet. That's what it looks like. Unusually early snows there. Already strong winds, power outages. I didn't know much about Moldova, but this is what it looks like. Amazing place to travel. I really would like to get there. Look at those castles. Information off the Smolian satellite, which covers Bulgaria, Albania, Serbia, that whole area. Jumping over to Romania. Already trains are being blocked due to heavy snowfall. Incredibly rare this early. Already at code orange snows throughout the northern areas. 70 to 80 kilometer an hour winds. Snows exceeding half a foot at 15 centimeters. And the rest of the country flash floods. Joe Bastardi, he's one of the most accurate predictors and forecasters of A, what's happening in the solar minimum. But B, where he's forecasting for the winter to be brutally cold this year. And last year, on the money, in the mountains of Tennessee being exceptionally heavy snows far above normal three times normal up through that whole appalachian trail area early season snowstorm blizzard for poland quick jump back to the forecast for europe's winter this year cold spells in england the swan says otherwise the swan says incredibly cold abnormally cold that's correct it's going to be abnormally cold er where it says frequent storms that's going to be frequent snowstorms. Where it says mild, that's going to be very chilly. Please remember this is a cycle. We've gone through it before. We're going through it again beginning now. This is what I would consider the second full winter of the new solar minimum. We shall see how it goes. If it's any indication, we're off to a roaring start. Where it was last year cold, it's already getting colder and snowier. As always, I appreciate you watching my videos and taking your valuable time. And please remember to subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030.